But why are all these people here today? It's to deliver on Dr. Cameron's vision to make protons available to patients who will benefit from this treatment. And now I'd like to introduce my partner and personal friend, Dr. John Cameron. He's a great visionary whose commitment to improve lives of people with cancer is now a reality. Dr. Cameron is a nuclear physicist by training, but he's also a pioneer in particle therapy and among the great scientists that have made proton therapy a reality today. He's very humble, but he's very determined, and he's created a company because that has now changed the process of building proton centers that has for to been agonizingly slow and extremely expensive. His vision, which today is a reality, is a company that has simplified and streamlined that process of building a proton center. We've reduced the cost, we've cut the construction time, we've developed better technologies, we've trained a wonderful medical staff in a way that's never been done before, and we've brought protons to the patients of Oklahoma. He's here with us today in no small part because he's also a patient of proton therapy. He's benefited from it at the center that he built in Indiana. Dr. Cameron also enjoys ballroom dancing and walking on the beach in Key West. Please welcome my friend, Dr. John Cameron. We are here today to celebrate in Oklahoma City. Next year, we will open our second center in Illinois, just outside Chicago. Uh, in that case, about one and a half miles from where two of my grandsons live, so that's also a wonderful uh, coincidence for me. And uh, the following year, we are expecting to open two more centers. And we're not going to stop there. We're going to make a dedicated effort to ensure that in 10 years from now, protons will be available in communities around this great country and neighborhoods where people can go and get proton therapy without having to travel hundreds and thousands of miles. For me personally, it's a culmination of 25 years. It's hard to believe it. Yes, 25 years of working in various aspects of particle radiation therapy. So for me, today is absolutely a dream come true. The technologies that we have now do a great job of defining an area or treating an area but at the expense of treating a lot of normal tissues around it. And the only way you get around that at this point in time is with proton therapy. Three and a half years later, we've gone from a vacant lot to a beautiful building. Um, and what that means is we'll now have access for our patients who need proton therapy. And uh, proton therapy, we can deliver with fewer side effects, fewer complications, better quality of life. I think what you're going to hear from me and, and from other people that follow me, and you've heard from the preceding gentleman, that this is all about dreams coming true. And this is all about people having a vision, having an idea, and putting it in action. And I played a small role in it, but um, a role that I'm grateful to have been able to play and something that I'm very proud of. People have asked, you know, why I decided to invest in Procure. You know, on the surface, it certainly is about dreams coming true. But this company had a sound business plan, and it was to build a much-needed network of world-class cancer care centers like this one. And while I hope to generate a return on the investment, I also hope that it would change the lives of, of many people. Many people have had a stake in, in investing in, in my life and have helped me along the way, and I felt like this was a good chance for me to, to give back in a way that I hadn't been able to uh, before. The treatments um, are, are, are pretty effortless for the patient. I receive 44 treatments. They do it during the week, not on weekends, so that explains the reason you're out there so long. It's not that it's a 24-7 uh, in-house treatment. It's, it's, a, it's a very little time that's actually spent in the treatment itself. I've been able to share my story and my experiences with, uh, with men across the United States. I'm on a call list, so I get calls from, from guys that are dealing with the same thing. They're, they're having to make a life-changing decision, and, and it, for some, it's harder to make a decision, and for others, they, it's, it's a, you, once you make it, um, you've made it, and you can't turn back. Uh, 
in doing that, I feel, I feel like it's an honor and a privilege to be able to help these guys make a decision that in five years from now, they're not going to sit there and say, I wish I'd have known. I wish somebody would have told me. I wish I had that opportunity to turn back the clock. Currently, my wife and I are running a business, raising our kids, lots of spankings, and uh, living our lives. And I think that's one of the, the most uh, enduring statements you can say about proton therapy, when you can go days, go days without thinking about it. There's not that many medical treatments that you can do that in history you can look back and say, hey, I, you know, I, I, I don't even think about it. And I think that's a compelling, uh, compelling case for the treatment itself. I feel like proton therapy saved my life, and because of that I'm standing here before you today. But it maintained my quality of life. It preserved that. Um, when, in, in saying that, that's, that says a lot. I'm very grateful for it. I just want all the, the staff and everybody to know what you do and what you're going to do is going to mean so much, not just to the patients, but to the families. So, and thank you so much for bringing this to Oklahoma City. This is so big to our family, so thank you. Why is this extraordinary? There is not one of these in Dallas. There is not one of these in Kansas City. There is not one of these in Little Rock. There is not one of these in Albuquerque. We have it here in Oklahoma City, and we could not be more proud. In my research, I came across Proton, and I, I didn't know what Proton was, but I kept, I kept getting to these sites, and I looked at Linda Loma, and I looked at Indiana, and I thought, sounds like a great thing. And, then I would look at videos and testimonials about people who couldn't get in, and I thought, now how tragic is that? They, they tried to get in. There wasn't enough room. He did 33 proton treatments um, over about a seven-week period, uh, concurrent with 42 doses of, uh, of chemotherapy. And from that one setback, we never had another issue. Um, he was never sick, never nauseous, no headaches. So we felt really fortunate that he was not only be able to get the right treatment, but also have tolerated very well and, and really have limited to no side effects. Um, he came back to Chicago on July 1st. We had our first 30-day MRI on July 30th, which showed significant shrinkage. So our doctors, I could see it in their faces. They were quite impressed and, and I almost want to say stunned at the results of what they saw with Proton. Um, so. We, and then another 90 day out, we had more shrinkage as well. He's uh, just finished up his junior year in high school. Um, he's had, got good grades and is, uh, was able to make his varsity baseball team. He started as a catcher in several varsity games, um, as well as a pinch runner, the boy that couldn't hop on his leg or move his toes last year. Hi, I'm Josh and I will show you my experience with proton therapy. I started last year in May of 2008, and when I got there, I did a simulation where they did a CT scan of my brain, and they made a mask to fit my head that I wouldn't move during treatment. They gave me a tour of the proton facility so I would understand how they set up and what would be done and what it would look like. On the first day, I was nervous, which pretty much everyone is, but the technician said it would be fine, and if, he, if I needed anything, he'd be right there. So this helped me, and I was not as afraid. So I got on the table, and they fastened the mask over my head. Then they slid me into the gantry. During the treatment, they always would play music, which would keep my mind off the treatment itself. Usually, I could even catch a nap on most days. The radiation was never really a problem for me. I was never sick from the protons at all, and I never had any side effects.